Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Upgrade. Now the most suitable features on this Sport Upgrade is its power moonroof, wireless charging and its blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Upgrade. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Sport Upgrade is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look just at the front bumper as you can see you have your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have the 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, as you can see, you have your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Barcelona Red. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support over on the left hand side. You have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet with your automatic headlights. On the inside of the driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, taking a look at some of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel, you'll find your seek function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select. You have your Bluetooth scroll function for the multi-informational display with the lane departure alert and cruise control. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a look, you have your digital speedometer with the distance to empty, but you'll also see your trip info on here. And you can also take a look at your compass, audio, lane departure alert, tire pressure monitoring messages, and your settings menu with your pre-collision system lane departure alert and a couple of other additional features. Now at the very top of the screen you'll see an exterior temperature gauge. Taking a look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here. So inside the apps menu you'll see your navigation, audio, phone as well as a couple of other additional features. It does come with the XM satellite radio. Down below you do have the dual zone climate control settings with your 4x4 select hazard lights and your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it. Down below you're going to see your blind spot monitoring on and off as well as your ECT power, open and close for your power rear window, USB and auxiliary input and your wireless charging on and off. Now with that wireless charging pad all you have to do is just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you just while you're driving. It's matted to an automatic transmission and if we take a look just at the top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with the traction control on and off. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like so as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall or if you're trying to hook up your trailer. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now, located on your rear bumper, you're going to see that it's a three-piece bumper. So, in the event that you damage the one section, you just have to replace the one segment. Now, if you take a look in the center, you're going to see your connectors for your towing. Spare tire will be located underneath the rear bumper, and then you have the backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now, taking a look on the right-hand side, you'll see that rear cargo power outlet. So, if you're ever out at the cabin in the lake during the weekend, you just plug in your tools, you can do so or if you'd like you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. You have some storage space located on the left or sorry the right hand side as well and if you take a look just in the back of the back bed there on your left right front and back side you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed just while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.